Okay, joined here by SVSU head football coach Jim Collins here to give us a little preview heading into the 2016 season. And, Coach, what's the level of excitement for you and your staff, you know, knowing that the season is right around the corner here? Well, obviously you spend nine months building it up and uh, preparing for a football season. And, and obviously our guys are very excited right now. Our coaches are excited. I think the fans are excited to get football going. Okay, um, just just hitting on uh, you know some of your returners coming back and some of the strong points of your team. Uh, just talk about that a little bit for us here. Well, first of all, I think we've had a great off season, and I think our guys have done a lot to prepare for this football season. I think we're a maturing football team. We've got a lot of guys coming back with a lot of experience. I think more more on the O line. We've got four guys back on the O line that are all in the junior senior category and have done a heck of a job of preparing. Uh, I, I really like the fact that we've got a bunch of returning receivers. Uh, Mark Johnson being back, who, who led our team last year in receiving. And, and I think at the running position, we're very solid with, with, uh, with a lot of talent. The quarterback position offensively uh, right now is still up for grabs. Uh, right now, coming out of the spring, Ryan Conklin had an outstanding spring and, and is leading the pack, but Jake LeClaire is right behind him. And, and Jake finished the game last year against Grand Valley and I thought played really well. So I think offensively, it's a maturing group that's really looking to have a breakout year. Defensively, uh, I, I like where we are. Uh, Matt McCoy is the leader of that defense. He's playing free safety for us. Uh, had an outstanding second half of last year, and he's really come on. And I think what you've seen on our football team is, is the really the maturing of the leadership aspect of it. Uh, the, the McCoys that have taken a big-time leadership role uh, as they've grown up in the program. But, you know, you've got Brian Jones, anchor in the middle, uh, another great leader for us. And I think the other thing you've seen is people like Joe Craven and, and Michael Alexander and Sloan Klasky step up big at that linebacker spot. At the D-line, uh, you know, with the fact that uh, Jordan Sanders is back, Zach Hadorn, uh, Jack Jennings, you know, we've got a lot of good players. Chris Travis has played a lot of football, Kyle Campfield. Uh, you, you know, so I, I think what, we've, what we're seeing once again, guys growing up and maturing. And I think one of the big things for us this offseason was the hiring of Chris Winter as our strength coach. And he's done amazing things in terms of just developing our guys physically and mentally. And from what I understand, uh, you know, hearing from you and your staff is a pretty motivated group. Um, and I'm sure that, you know, the strength and conditioning position helps tremendously with that as well. well. Well, there's no question coming off of last year, our guys uh, are highly motivated. You know, one of the things I saw uh, out of last year's team was, was a finish that was, that was very prideful. We, we played two very good teams at the end of the year, and, and, and we're, we were in great games with them. Uh, and I think that set the tone for an offseason that was built on making sure we redeem ourselves as a football team and as a football program and come back strong in 2016. And our work ethic and commitment has mirrored uh, that desire. And, and I think part of it, uh, once again, the hiring of Coach Chris Winter as our strength coach, he's come in with a championship program. He was at North Dakota State, Illinois State. He brought that strength and conditioning program with him, uh, the attention to detail, the discipline. Uh, I think that's been very helpful. The other thing I think, once again, I'll touch on it. We, we are maturing as a football program and a football team. Our, our players uh, that, that we've counted on the last couple of years that have been young are now in that role where they're the hardest workers on the team, they're the best leaders, and they're ready to carry the torch forward. Okay, now we're joined by returning senior defensive back Matt McCoy. And Matt, looking uh, ahead to this upcoming 2016 season coming up very quick, what's the level of excitement for yourself and maybe some of your teammates right now? We are very, very excited for this um, this season coming up. We've been working really hard this summer, waking up at 4.50 in the morning, working out, then coming back later and working out even more. Um, this is going to be a good year, and we're really excited about it. Okay, and obviously one of the strong points for this team returning, uh, your side of the ball, defensive side, a uh, lot of experience. Uh, as Coach Collins, you know, hinted at a lot of uh, maturing going on for the team overall. Uh, what is it like? What, what's your thoughts on the returning defense and maybe yourself now that you're a senior? Um, maybe taking on more of a leadership role for the Cardinals this upcoming fall. Yep. Um, as a defense, you know, we're returning every almost every position group. Um, the only you know flaw might be a, the corner position, but um, even there we still have some good guys returning that you know that still know the defense. But besides that, we're we're going to be a really close knit group, just like we were you know towards the end of the year last year. 
Um, I believe that we're going to be a really good defense. So we're we're going to be trying to hold teams, you know, to really low low points. Um, and especially in the secondary, you know, it's time for us to step up. Our linebackers and D-line are very good. Those are a very good group of guys. So, um, you know, we're really excited to see how that all goes. And personally, you know, at a leadership standpoint, um, I believe that I just got to be, you know, communicating it to the new guys, communicating to the guys that haven't really been playing a lot, telling them how things are going, you know, updating them, getting them, you know, hip to the system, uh, working with them one-on-one, stuff like that, so we can be, you know, a close group and work, you know, perfect together and just be communicating the whole time we're out there.